Hello, hola, good morning, bonjour. Hi everybody, it's me, Shale, at the Indianapolis Public Library. I'm so glad you're with me today. Should we go ahead and just get started? Let's do it. Are you ready? Get a rhythm going. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loudly as we can. Hello! A bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! A bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. Hello. <sighs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello, hello. That was a lot of helloing. Well, here I am at the library. Do you know what I like best about the library? That's right, books. At the library, they have big books and small books and funny books and sad books and scary books and brave books and silly books and serious books. They have short books and tall books and thick books and thin books, simple books and complicated books. They even have winter books and summer books. So many different kinds of books. I just can't get enough of them. Well, today, we are going to have a visit from the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra for a teddy bear concert. That's right, you might have seen one before, but this one's different. And it's got lots and lots of instruments. And one instrument in particular, a violin. So I would love for you guys to take a listen and see what you think. everyone and welcome to The Giant's Violin, a teddy bear series story by the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. My name is Perry and today I'm going to be your narrator and I am joined by some amazing musicians. Here we have my friend Jennifer. Oh hi Perry. And over here is Derek. Hi. And this is Amy. Hi. And this is Nick. Hey Perry. During our story today, we would love to have your help. We have some special movements planned that help us tell the story of the giant's violin. Do you think you can watch closely and help us out? Yes! That's great! Musicians, I think it's time. Are you ready for story time? Yes. Sure. Yes. yes. Excellent, let's get started. Giant's Violin by Victoria Kintner Griswold. Teddy was a clever boy and also very curious. He liked to find the answers to all things he found mysterious. But he could not believe what he discovered in his home when he set out to solve a mystery on his own. It all began late last night while Teddy lay in bed. He heard the strangest noises from the attic overhead. Thank you. 
noise soon faded as Teddy lay below. But Teddy, ever curious, possessed a need to know. So that's when he decided, since no one was near, he'd sneak on up the attic stairs to find out what was there. On his feet were quiet socks and silent slippers too. He hopped right up the attic stairs just like a kangaroo. Hop along with this song when you see my cue. around the attic and what did Teddy see? <gasps> oh no! He gasped. A giant's been inside the house with me! He didn't see the giant but he knew where it had been because in the attic he could see a giant's violin. But then he heard his mother calling Teddy from below. He quickly scampered down the stairs as fast as he could go. You can try to scamper too, but make it fast, not slow. Day, he kept his secret locked inside his head. When nighttime came for safety, he slept beneath the bed. But giants filled his nightmares with their violins and bows. They pranced about while keeping time by tapping with their toes. Their melodies sped faster as they danced across the floor, till soon their music started making scary lion roars. When it's time, become a lion. Let your voice soar. of giants disappeared. At breakfast, Teddy's mom said that his uncle would stop by. Of course, always curious, he asked his mother why. She said, you'll meet your uncle Jerry later on today. The attic has his instrument which we have stored away. <gasps> oh no! He knew what that must mean. His stomach churned with dread. <gasps> My uncle is a giant! Teddy screamed inside his head. He'll never use an indoor voice. He'll break things in my room. He'll stomp just like an elephant, each footstep going boom. Make footsteps like an elephant as you listen to this tune.
When Teddy heard the doorbell ring, his fear intensified. He darted to his closet. It's the perfect place to hide. He waited for a booming voice for furniture to smash. He braced himself in case the house tumbled down and crashed. He heard the front door open and stiffened with alarm. It felt like he had chickens pecking goosebumps on his arms. Make fingers into chicken beaks and peck upon your arms. But curled up in his closet, he heard no scary sounds. Inside his head, a voice said, why not go look around? He made a bold decision. He bravely look again. He faced the giant uncle and his big old violin. He softly tiptoed up the stairs, his throat completely dry. When at the top, he cried aloud, you're not a giant guy. How can you hold that violin with just your little chin? His uncle laughed and answered with a warm and friendly grin. I can't, he said, because it's not a violin at all. A violin makes higher sounds. It's also very small. Then larger, the viola, and much bigger is the cello. Together in a family, their sounds are sweet and mellow. As you listen, can you tell violin from viola? From cello? And now about this instrument, the biggest of them all. His Uncle Jerry smiled and said, string bass is what it's called. And then his uncle played the bass. The sound began to grow. He drew the bow across the string out poured notes deep and low. The bass produced a melody with dark and graceful sounds. How nice it was to listen as the music swirled around. longer in his head. He listened for a long, long time before he went to bed. And just before he dozed off, Teddy knew what he would do. He wanted more than anything to play the string bass too. The end. help telling the story of the giant's violin. We miss you all so much and can't wait until we can see you again soon. Bye-bye now!
loved it. What did you guys think? Did you move along with the music? So many different sounds. Some of them were fast and slow. Gosh, music can be as different as books can be. That's so cool. Well, I really enjoyed it. And as you know, at the library, we have lots of books that are about music. We even have books that are about violins. Here's a few. Zin 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 of Violins, one of my favorites. It's got lots of rhyming in it. I love rhyming. And the illustrations are very colorful. Look at all those instrument and people having fun playing them. Well, thank you for visiting with me and the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. I will see you next time on Reading Ready Time. Goodbye, adios, sai chen, and arrivederci.